Here's a video for my Florida followers. That is an indexing valve, and this existing indexing valve here is not switching zones. And that usually means there's some debris caught right in this little spot right here. The way that you would fix that is you would take out all four of these screws. Once you get the screws off, you can pull this little top hat looking thing off. Don't lose your screws. Lay that off to the side, and then you can pull your cam off. Now, this cam's only gonna come off under one of these slots right here, and there it is, as you can see, there's a slot right there. That's how that cam fits onto the shaft there. Once you get that out of your way, place your hand over the hole, open the water source. In this case, it's a valve. We'll go ahead and do it this way. And then turn it off. And once the valve closes, then we just wanna make sure that everything's twisting and turning and bouncing up and down like it's supposed to. Then we'll find that slot in our cam Stick it right back over there. We want to make sure the numbers are facing up. That's very important. I can see the numbers and I want to match up the notch with the post right there. And then this would only go back in one way, actually two ways, because it's a rectangle. Once you get it placed over there, push down on it so that everything is setting up against each other. Grab your screwdriver and then screw the four screws back in and you have just flushed your indexing valve. The reason why I'm doing it on this site and not immediately changing the indexing valve is because the customer has actually agreed to upgrade this to electronic control valve. So we're going to install six Eritrol 205 valves here to replace this indexing valve. In the meantime, we need the client system to work until we can come back out to do that. So we flushed his indexing valve. Now when we go through his system, all six zones will work. All right, on to the next one.